Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today we got some real, true wireless earbuds to review. So, here we go. Okay, so, first of all, the unboxing. The presentation is very good to start with, but what do you get inside the box? Um, well, you get the earbuds and the charging box, along with some bigger and smaller earbuds, a set of ear hooks that actually are the same size as the ones it comes with, and a micro USB cable for charging. Of course, there's, there is some uh, basic instructions to get started, and now let's check out how this looks on my desk. As you can see, when I'm not using them, I just put them in the box for charging and close it, and when I need them again, I open it up and put them on. One thing I found confusing about the charging box is that it makes you take the opposite for the earbuds. This one is for your right ear, and this one is for your left ear. I think it should have been reversed, but uh, I guess that doesn't matter anyways. Another problem I have is that it seems that the ear hooks actually pulls the buds out of my ears. <laughs> but maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't like them anyways. This can be solved by taking the ear hooks off if you hate ear hooks, and I took them off because I don't like them. And since I'm talking about problems right now, let me tell you, you should not get stuff like monitors in the way of the signal, otherwise you'll have disconnects happening all the time. I kept it like this during use, and it seems to work fine. Also, if you want to watch videos with your Bluetooth headphones, then stop right there, because Bluetooth is a little laggy. Not too much, but it is a little, meaning that the audio will not sync with the video, and if you're the kind of person who can pay attention to that and notice it quickly, then don't use Bluetooth headphones to watch videos. This is not a problem with the product, but rather it is a problem with Bluetooth itself. But then again, if you're listening to music, it doesn't matter, so Bluetooth headphones are definitely for music. Now the wireless reach, or what you might explain as, how long can you go away from the device you're using before you stop hearing anything? Well, okay. Actually, it's pretty good. To me, it seemed like about 10 to 14 feet. Around there, around 10 or 14 feet, the audio starts to get a little, a little choppy and then totally cuts off. Next is the sound quality. Well, I've been using the top-rated earbuds on Amazon for a while, and I must say that these earbuds are almost better sounding than those, even. So, these earbuds have some really good quality. Now everything, like how to charge it, I will only be showing you right here, because I don't, know what, I don't want to try to explain all that crazy stuff, it's just all too complicated. But I will talk about how long it lasts. Out of the box, mine lasted an hour, but it should last two hours and a half with the full charge. Of course, I cannot forget the specs in a review, so here they are. It has a one-year warranty, uses Bluetooth 4.2, comes with a built-in mic, lasts about two hours of playback or 80 hours standby, and best of all, the diameter is only 0.6 inches. So finally, what did you guys expect this thing to cost? 10 or 15 dollars? Nope, of course, this thing costs 50 dollars but that's actually pretty competitive compared to other earbuds like this one. So, if I had to recommend these, would I? Well, I'd say yes, I would. And with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a like or dislike. If you didn't enjoy it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.